Hi, welcome to Little Orchid. Today we'll be repotting these two Cattleyas. Here are the materials we'll be using and let's go ahead and take this orchid out of its current pot and remove all this medium here. See how the roots are doing. So far it looks okay. I would say maybe a little overwatered, but not too bad. Um, we still have some good roots here, so we can definitely make this work. I should have repotted immediately once I got these orchids, but instead of repotting immediately, I let them sit a little bit because I didn't have um, the correct pots at that time. But now I do have some pots for them, so I am going to repot them. Now, I think this orchid is in moss, but as you can see, it is actually some rock. So I definitely overwatered this orchid. These roots are um, rotted or soaked completely, so I will definitely have to chop them up and see what roots are still good here. This was all my fault here, of course. I could have prevented this by repotting, so I knew what I was working with, but I had just not um, done so, so of course I have to deal with the consequences now. But I will fix this, and I will make sure to try my best and get these orchids back up and running soon. I'll take these orchids to the sink and go wash their roots here and bring them back so we can go ahead and clean up their leaves um, with some treatment for pests. The treatment I'm using, I'll link in the description where I found it, um, but this is going to be just some water, paraffin oil, and some soap. Um, you of course can use whatever solution you'd like. I just use this one because it helps with the shininess of the leaves, but also with the pests as well. So it kind of helps um, just make your orchids look very beautiful right before you place them in their pots. So I'll go ahead and speed this up so you can see me wipe down all the leaves and everything on the Cattleya here. So this isn't too long of a video, I'll just speed it up a little bit. Now that the orchid is all clean, we are going to go ahead and start with the repotting here. So we have the bark chips, the sphagnum moss, and we're going to start with sphagnum moss. Sphagnum moss, I do shake it a little bit just to keep it fluffy, then I go ahead and put the bark on top there, and go ahead and add the orchid now that I do have a little bit of a foundation there, and since I don't have too many roots, it'll fit nicely here. And now that we have the orchid in, we're going to go ahead and start um, layering the sphagnum moss and bark chips. Alternate the materials you're using and then just go from there till you get to the top. And I'll go ahead and speed up this process as well because this does take a little bit of time. This is super random, but I just actually enjoy repotting my orchids a lot. I like to see their new roots and just spend some time with them. Of course, after doing so many, it does get tiring, but I do enjoy doing it a lot. Um, but I am trying to not repot my orchids so often. I want them to lose their medium that they have for longer. So hopefully we'll do a better job with that this time around. Um, just pressing down the medium a little bit so it does hold the roots a little bit better. Not too hard. You don't want it to mush the moss so hard that it doesn't have space for breathing room for the roots. Just enough to hold the roots there and make sure that it doesn't wiggle around too much. 
almost complete and just a little bit of tapping to get that medium mixing around there and the final bark chips and ta-da it is all complete finally finished with one of the catlias now on to the next one here after rinsing the roots i realized that i had killed most of the roots by rotting them with the water so with the remaining roots that we have here we will try to revive these orchids this um, next process is just going to be me cleaning the orchids here i'm going to go ahead and start this process um, and I will fast forward this as well since it will take longer since they split into two orchids and this is also a smaller orchid so it is a little bit harder to clean here. One down, now the other one to go. I'll just keep this sped up here as well because this is the same process I've done on the other two orchids. Just on this little orchid that came off from the other orchid here. So just giving it a nice deep cleaning of all the little pieces here so nothing is left no pests are here and it's all nice and happy when it goes in its little icu chamber that i also got from another youtuber here which i'll also link down below now that this is complete I'm going to go ahead and place them in their ICU chamber and we will be back. This is their little ICU, just some sphagnum moss and of course keeping the humidity high for these babies because they need to sprout some new roots. And also one of my orchids needs high humidity, so it works out perfectly for them so that they can heal and just produce some beautiful flowers. But here it is, the final Christmas Rose Catlia repotting. Thank you for watching. Until next time.